basically we're going to try and feather this light off because what we'll have him do is kind of do a jump that way. So he's facing that way. So this will really kind of be the key light and these will be the accent lights. Um, so one thing that we want to make sure we do though is feather off that light because you can see it's hitting the background right now. What we want to do is we want to feather this off and see if we can't get it to hit him a little bit, but where it doesn't hit the background. So we'll move it back a little bit because we just, this really just wants to kind of be a little highlight. So his skin tone becomes a natural color. So go ahead. We're going to, we're going to start just, yeah, just jump that way and go ahead. I just want to see if I got framing at all. All right. Well, first of all, it's super dark. <laughs> that would, I think it, it did. It was just all the way at lowest power. So just actually for now, just stand there. All right. So we're getting split light with that. Right. And it's really not hitting the background too much. Uh, so we got the grid and we feathered it, feathered it away. Um, and let me get it back into capture one here so we can see that. All right. So we got a little bit of fall off, but that's not going to hinder the hinder the image too much. So from here we've got, and we can change the colors too, but we're going to kind of start with those. And All right, so one thing that happens with these, you'll notice that, so basically, if I turn one of these off, I'll, I'll, we'll start with one just so we can kind of see how it builds up. So right now, we've got the yellow light, right? It's shining across, it's creating kind of a whole yellow or orange, whatever color it is. Uh, stand a little closer to the wall for me, right there. So it's coming across, the shadow is going to be on, our, on camera left. If we turn this one on, the, that shadow will be camera right, right? Because they're crisscrossing. But what's going to happen to the colors? Wonderful. So what's actually going to happen is this one's cutting across. So that left shadow is going to be blue. And the right shadow is going to be orange. So because so, basically it's, it's coloring the the dark part. So again, it's kind of basically that's creating a gray area. The gray is going to get more saturation, kind of like we did with, uh, with the gray wall or the gray background. Another thing to keep in mind when you're using like a hard light source like this is if I bring this down, that other shadow is going to get higher. And then same thing. So if I go up, I get smaller, right? So it's, it's all kind of inversely proportional to how you might think it would be. But what we want to do is it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of change based on, and also if I, <laughs> all right, I was so organized for a second. <laughs> so if I move this over, it's going to go that way. If I move it in, then the shadows converge on each other. So again, it's really just kind of where you want it to be and what you want the look to look like. So, well, so, hmm? well, well, he's going to be jumping, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, it's because it's the curved wall. But basically, and I may change these to a little more vibrant colors because these are going to kind of blah into each other. So let's just take a quick tester here and see what comes up. So we've got fairly neutral color on his face just because we feathered that off, but then we've got the colored shadows. But I do really want to change the color. All right, so now we're going to have you start jumping a little bit. And I do have a uh, wider lens now just because I wanted to make sure that I'd I got it. I'm only at, huh? In place. Uh, come over a little bit for me, right there. And yeah, just go ahead and jump up in place for me. <laughs> and this is kind of one where you might want to count. Um, come forward a little bit. And let's do, let's kill that light. Just make sure it's. This on. All right. We'll 
we'll just start kind of at a low power. I'm going to keep them relatively the same. And then as we go up, and I think those shadows are a little bit too far away from each other. So we're going to, so just bring it in like this. So that'll, and that one notice that changed that shadow over there. And this one will, and it's not quite, actually from here, it's not bad. Like over here, it looked like that left shadow was a little shorter. But when I'm, when I'm right in the middle, okay, let me do, oh yeah, that's the other thing. I'm different, I'm like, I've been using Sony all day and I'm literally like, how do I use the camera I normally use? And I've only been using the other one for a day. All right, now we're starting to get a little more saturation, right? We still don't have that other this light on. So now I'm going to bring this uh, key light back in, which is kind of a key light, but it's behind, so it's a little bit, a uh, little bit different. And we'll see how that looks. All right, so let's bring that one down just a touch, and then we'll be pretty well off to the races. And I think I'm going to have you when you jump. I'm going to have you. Jump that way so you're fit. Yeah, so we can get a nice separation. Um, so I'll just do count on three and ready, three, two, one. And let's try and get a little more elevation because I want to see your whole body with that. So, like in the shadows too. So if you can get a little higher, that would be awesome. And three, two, one. Sorry, I, that was my fault. I like way prematurely took the picture. And three, two, one. And so what I want to do, since I know I'm going to be at a low angle, but those little shadows too low, right? So how do I raise those up? Exactly. So we're going to bring these, bring these guys down a little bit. So when he's jumping, they all should be relatively in the same spot. And let's try that. <laughs> and if you want to take like a step and then yeah. jump that way, it might be a little more natural. Yeah. All right, and ready, three, two, one. I think that one could be pretty cool. And let's do one more. And three, two, one. So this one's just a matter of like, eventually getting it to where it's a pose you like and we're all happy with it. And I think I might've gone a little bit too, I need to come down more still, because the, the they're still a little bit lower. And also I want to spread them out a little more now. So, so we'll do here, go even higher, come out a little bit and come down a little more. And like I said, this is all very, just kind of like getting those minute details. And if I was shooting it here, like go ahead and jump for me. If I was doing it here, now my composition's changed. So, because I adjusted the shadows to be shooting down here. All right, and ready, three, two, one. That one will be good, except for I got that light in the shot. That, I'm happy with that. That's cool, right? So let's go ahead and get, uh, get everybody. Let's do one more. Try and get that back arm to be a little, yeah, a little more. <laughs> And ready, three, two, one. And do one more for me. Here, let me. And ready, three, two, and one. <laughs> three, two, one. That's pretty badass. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll just end there and. Uh, <laughs> All right, so now everybody can go ahead and do this, and you can change colors out. Feel free to do what you will. But just remember what we were doing is the shadow is going to be affected by how much up and down, right? And then also this direction. And then what we're going to do also is we've got that feathered. If we feathered it that way, we'd 
get too much spill on the background, which we don't want, but I think we're good. So let's make a line. <laughs>